Yeah, good job. Before exploring the place we're at, we need to clean the hull of the boat. Welcome to Anse Noir. Let's go check out the place. Anse Noir is a tiny bay in Martinique with place for a couple boats. This week we continue exploring places of Martinique that we haven't seen yet. After this anchorage we slowly make our way to go to the highest mountain of this island, Mount Pelé. The anchorage you're seeing now, we ended up staying for three nights as we had so much fun here. Let me show you a bit of that. Somebody also called this Paradise Island. I can see why. Apparently there's a big step up and you can go down to the next small bay, Ans du Four. So we're gonna try that. So this is where you can dock a boat. There's a little rocky but a nice beach place on this side and also on the other side. We are really enjoying it here. The anchorage is calm, not rolly, and it's just a really nice cute little bay. This is really paradise guys. We are so grateful to be able to explore another place in paradise. This is a little picnic place in between the two bays. And from here you can see Limonada. Limonada is a little blue dot over there. Estoy haciendo la escena de Katy Perry en el video de Bon Appetit Baby. <laughs> and welcome to Anse du Four. All the restaurants are already closed, so we're gonna do ice cream and then food on the boat. What do you want? Coco, cacuet, passion or everything? Passion, passion. Only passion? Ah, for dos. Oh, tres, cuatro, or cinco, or seis, or siete. Passion, passion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ice cream on the beach, that's pretty awesome too. I have um, coconut and peanuts, and you have? Uh, passion and chocolate. This bay, the Bay of Anse du Four, does not have a dinghy dock. That's why the bay we are at, Anse Noir, is easier to be at. We have decided for pancakes. I'm gonna teach Dani how to make a Dutch pancake. Uh, and after who show the Dutch skills in the kitchen. <laughs> My Dutch skills, yeah. <laughs> is it first a dough in a pan? And now you're literally just gonna put on everything you like. Everything what you like, you're just gonna put it on. Mushrooms, onion. Yeah, everything. I just put on everything. I wanted to eat at sunset, but the sun is going down quick. All right, it's time to show you guys my party trick. Yeah! <laughs> Colombian's opinion about Dutch pancake. Okay. Do -do, do -do, do -do. Lekker. <laughs> Lekker means nice. We're ready to go to the next place, but before doing so, there's something you really want to do, which is. Jumping, jumping off the cliff. I cracked a few ribs a couple weeks ago and highly underestimated how long it would take to heal and how many things I wouldn't be able to do, especially dealing with any type of weight. So I won't be jumping today, but Dani will. It is absolutely gorgeous, this cove. Jumping off this cliff was a big milestone for Dani as she'd never done anything like this before. The rocks from the cliff have such amazing colors. How did you like the jump? Go to the next place. We're 
crossing the Fort de France channel to go explore the north side of Martinique. But last video we stopped at Fort de France because something broke to go to the marine store. <laughs> I have to do it quickly again. I need a new shackle. Just arrived back in Fort de France. I won't show you guys this again because I did it in the last video. So we're gonna get the part at the marine store. See you after. All right, just got back from the marine store. We should have light enough to continue to the next place. I'll show you what the problem was. I used this shackle between the chain and the, um, the anchor and on this homemade bow roller. It's not pretty, it's made by the previous owner, but uh, it works, it still works. This thing on the side here gets stuck. And if it's really bad weather or in difficult situations, if the anchor gets stuck there and I have to like, hang over there try to wake that loose it can be pretty dangerous so now about this one this is especially made for that specific application and that should solve all my problems <laughs> now let's make sure that this doesn't get stuck let's check it Goodbye for the front. It was short but powerful. I always love to go close along a docked cruise ship just to see how small we are. Apparently those things can carry up to 8,000 people. We're going to the Anchorage Pont Boucher where it should be nice snorkeling. <laughs> I've really been enjoying this year of cruising. The first year and a half to two were really hard. I was mostly doing longer distances and also mostly in the wrong wind direction. Plus, not really understanding much of wind prediction and how to fix a boat. That all together made the first year and a half to two really stressful. This year I'm focusing on how sailing life is supposed to be, an enjoyable lifestyle. Welcome to Fonds Bourlet. I see a big catamaran rolling a little. That's the only boat here. If a big catamaran is rolling, I fear for our boat. Just dropped anchor and Dani's laughing because she knows with this roll, I cannot sleep. I do not like that. And she can sleep like this. getting a pro it's rolling like crazy but holding the pan with one hand stability over there and just cooking if that's not a boat girl then I don't know it anymore what do we have for dinner fish sticks and vegetables yeah, fish fish and vegetables you know like I can't pronounce vegetables thank you cheers it's a little rolly, but uh, it's a beautiful sunset. It ended up being less rolly as I expected. What's for breakfast? Banana, strawberry checky, um, pan de chocolate. Adding a special touch to it, huh? Let's also add a raisin bread. Cheers. There you go. Breakfast and then through with the fish. 
All right, let's go check out the fish. It is very important for me that Dani is happy on the boat. And with that, I am very grateful that she can deal a lot better than me with a rolling boat. Fun fact, she even seems to like it. Really nice swim. A friend of mine passed on a scanner run and made this video shot of our boat with his phone. We're going to Saint Pierre to hike to a peak of Martini. We parked the boat here, a little further away from St. Pierre, which is over there, because the bus stop is here. And the dinghy dock is really, really bad in St. Pierre at the moment. I've the most amount of broken dinghies I've seen there. So I don't want to put the dinghy there all the day. So tomorrow we're going to go by kayak to shore. And then I'm going to go back without stuff to the boat, put the kayak on the boat, swim back. I'm trying to make salt fresh across, never done that before. Want to see? Looking pretty good. Across really local Caribbean at sunset. Try one and let me know what you think. Try one. Mm. Good. What does it taste like? Like fish? Like a fish cake. <laughs> the flavor. Part one finished, I'm going to swim back to the boat now. See you in 10 minutes. Bye bye. Are you having a good hair day or a bad hair day? <laughs> this is the Mount Pelay Memorial. From here, we're going to take the second bus, and we we have a really beautiful view on the boat. Attention, it all went a little faster than expected. We went too far, we gotta take a bus back. <laughs> a really nice person brought us back immediately. Hitchhiking! Okay, now we're on the right road again. This is not the start of the hike yet, but beautiful it is. It's about a mile and a half walk to the parking place where you would normally park your car, where the start of the hike is. <laughs> this is the start of the hike. Let's begin. Are you ready? Yeah, I miss. Extrañaba. You miss hiking? Yeah.
Let's check out this view before we begin. Start of the hike, you can see the mountain over there. So many beautiful views everywhere. Look at that. <laughs> Already when we started hiking up the mountain, we were wondering if we were able to actually see something up there in the clouds. Sadly getting a bit hazy. Hope we can see something on the top. There's a viewpoint of the halfway point. Maybe we can see something on the way back. I have said it many times before, the lush vegetation of the Caribbean is just so beautiful. The last part of the mountain seems to be steep and slippery. I've decided not to do it because I cracked two of my ribs a couple weeks ago and it was so bad for like almost three weeks I could just not lift up the anchor at all. And I feel it a bit again, so I don't wanna go back to that. But we can see the mountain from here. Am I sad about not reaching the top? No, not really. My goal was having fun while seeing something of this beautiful world, being in good health and having a happy relationship. And I achieved all of those. I don't think he's gonna walk to the top. What do you think? You think he's on the way to the top too? No. <laughs> what is the view we missed on the way up? We almost got to the end of this video. I would like to thank our patrons. Without you, we could not keep making these videos. And I never really asked to like, comment or subscribe, but it does help in the promotion of this video, which is as important for us. So if you enjoyed this or upcoming videos, perhaps consider supporting us that way. Look at all this moss over this tree. It is so pretty. How was the hike? It was amazing and I can feel the pain in my legs. They are shaking I see. And we're on the way back with a baguette in the back. Life's good guys. Mm -hmm.